What's up guys, it's me Vlad, and today I'm doing an official Gorilla Tag mod tutorial in 2024. All of the mods that I'm going to showcase in this video are completely legal, uh, and uh, I'm going to showcase what they do, how to use them, and how to actually install them. So, at, at first, uh, the first part of the video, I'm going to actually showcase the mods, uh, how you can use them in the game, uh, pretty much everything like that and uh, this is beginner friendly tutorial so you don't need to know anything really about the gorilla tag or anything like that so I'm gonna try to make everything as convenient as possible by the way to the people who are asking me in the comments yes you can play multiplayer with the, your friends with these mods uh, and this is official gorilla tag that I'm playing right now so yeah so first mod that we have is actually called uh, computer plus plus uh, and uh, pretty much this is a replacement to computer interface mod which actually got broken a lot and this mod works perfectly as you guys can see you can join rooms and stuff let me join a room real quick it's really nice because uh, you can actually control all of your mods installed here just from your computer uh, so there's also uh, auto join you can pretty much uh, change the theme if you like a different color uh, which is nice I I think there's a mod to actually add custom backgrounds to this but don't quote me on that so yeah we joined the lobby over here and if you want to use the mods you actually have this option over here to go into modded lobbies so you can join public modded lobbies to find other people mods you can join just normal modded lobbies uh, so let me just join a casual modded lobby I'm just gonna add this over here I'm, I'm going to showcase the mod menu that we have today so uh, <clears throat> So the mod menu that we have today is actually probably the one you've seen in a lot of videos as Jamin Curly has used it, Elliot K9, so this is completely legal. And I would say that this is by far the best mod menu f pretty much there is out right now, and it's called the Bark Mod Menu. To open it up, you have to pretty much tap on your chest like a gorilla, and it just appears over here. So let me showcase some of the mods it has. I really like that you can actually kind of pick it up uh, and you can actually choose the mods uh, for yourself and to close it just throw it away <laughs> okay that's kind of funny uh, but yeah so we have the airplane uh, which uh, you can pretty much use to fly like an airplane y'all can see I'm kind of flying over here uh, and I mean um, <clears throat> uh, if you want to actually fly for example there's fly over here so what we do is we use our sticks right stick to go up uh, left stick to go to sides and that's actually, I would say, the best system now for fly. I know, like, other mod menus, they use just you click on a button and uh, you fly pretty much. But for this, uh, we're just flying using sticks. And you stay in the air. And, for example, if I want to actually just go down, I click this. For example, I can do airplane and showcase y'all airplane so i just put my hands to left right and i can fly with airplane like in the airplane uh but yeah uh, okay so that's that uh also we actually have platforms so platforms y'all probably know what platforms are these are pretty cool these are just clouds so this is by the way the latest mod version you probably have seen like older mod versions which have some of the different features than this one this how this one should have more and stuff then we have rockets, which are actually rockets you can launch. So you can launch uh, with the rockets. It's kind of like Iron Man mod, I would say, in a sense of way. You can launch to anything like this. Uh, and uh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, I would say. Uh, one of my favorite mods. We have speed boost. If you want to just like go ahead, full, full hacking, right? Uh, on your opponent, just like speed boost, bams, bams, go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, by the way, I've been getting better at Gorilla Tag. I've been telling y'all, bro, right? I'm cooking, man. Every single day I'm training up, man. Training, branching, everything, man. So I don't need no speed boost or anything like that, bro. Right? Uh, so one day I'm going to be better than uh, <clears throat> TTT Pig. I would say, bro, right? I'm already better than Jamie and Curly, bro. Right? Uh, y'all don't see how much I'll be training, bro. Right? Uh, but <laughs> yeah, okay next we have a nail gun so you you can just use a nail gun uh, To like put nails. I don't even know what it does not gonna lie, but it's kind of cool 
I guess that he couldn't put like a pistol or anything like that, so we have nails, bro. So you just like boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Go off on, on some, you know what I'm saying? Like your friend or some. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so this is the first page. Uh, we have wall run. So if you want to go ahead, full hacking, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this, uh, what it does, if you cannot wall run, it actually attaches you to any wall that is on the side. So, I mean, <laughs> like, uh, this is definitely not noticeable. I'm definitely just, just like wall running, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely not sticking to any walls. Uh, and, um, uh, uh, yeah, as y'all can see, uh, you can go from a wall. It works, I'm pretty sure, with every wall. So, yeah, if you want to climb up from here. Okay, bro. I'm taking that bad comment about me <laughs> training every day, bro. Because, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's Team VR, but I'm kind of garbant over here. Okay, so we have gravity. We have gravity. Uh, this pretty much just lowers the gravity. It's not turning it off fully because you can see you're going down. And pretty much for each of these, pretty much settings uh, each of these mods you have a separate setting so you can change for airplane the values how much you're flying you can change for different mods boxing flying gravity for everything it's actually kind of crazy how detailed this mod menu is okay next thing we have is slippery hands uh, so pretty much uh, you are just slippering like on mountains everywhere and uh, i find it pretty cool to use this in the new actual uh, rotating map, uh, the, uh, what is it called, the temple or whatever, yo, 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 I'm stuck in one place, yo, bro, I look like uh, that Tom and Jerry episode where he like runs on the spot, we are the champions, okay, maybe not, okay, uh, let's do next one. So next uh, mod we have is a checkpoint. You can place the checkpoint anywhere you want. So you just hold uh, your trigger over here. And if you want to go back, I don't know what to do. Not going to lie. Not going to lie, bro. Oh, you, you place a checkpoint with your left trigger. You go to a checkpoint with your right one. So, for example, you want to juke someone. You do like juke out, boom. You go back, tag them. Easy crazy bro i'm telling y'all bro this mod menu is advanced bro better than anyone okay we have potions this is a new a new thing so what does it say grab the potion of your waist and with grip pop the corn with the other grip uh till the potion to drink it current uh si oh uh-huh so pretty much what you do is you uh drink potions to actually become bigger and smaller so as y'all can see i've seen uh, i think k9 do in um pretty much a uh, episode uh, short i think with this one it's pretty cool so you become bigger i mean i can become even bigger i'm gonna be like uh y'all know godzilla or whatever yo this low key looks cool this is a new feature they added uh, to the mod menu uh by the way big shout out to kyle my boy kyle for actually making this mod menu. yo wait a minute why is the water pink am i the only one noticing it oh heck no nah, right yeah look at how small force this low key i've been telling y'all bro. yo nah nah oh man i'm stuck so if you want to get smaller if you want to get smaller we can actually get the other potion in pop the lid bounce and drink it yeah because because not gonna lie i'm kind of too big <coughs> yo yo i've been drinking too much po too much potions bro. okay wait i'm i'm tiny brain i'm tiny ain't no way let me let me get bigger real quick wait what is the normal size of a gorilla i forgot I think we're kind of bigger than uh, we should be, but I think we're chill. Okay, I want to go to the city real quick, real talk. I've been telling y'all, bro. Uh, so, also, uh, with this, uh, if you're a YouTuber, you can get a camera mod and everything like that. There are different mods on PC you can use. Uh, so, uh, you know, although, although on PC to buy actual Gorilla Tag, it costs $20 to use all of the mods and everything. But I'm going to tell y'all a bit of a cheat, I would say. So if you actually, if you actually, you know, if you know, usually to actually access uh, uh, Gorilla Tag on Steam, you need to have uh, pretty much virtual desktop. But right now, right now, actually Steam released their own free app. It's called Steam Link. I'm using it and not going to lie, it doesn't have any delay. 
it's so much better than virtual desktop and it's completely free. So you can save $20, which you would spend on virtual desktop and actually spend it on something useful like grill attack uh, and then use mods. So essentially you're saving yourself 20 bucks. You're using a better service for completely free. You can look this game or look this app up. It's on uh, official grill tag or no a quest store. Uh, it's called steam link. Highly recommend. That's what I'm using at least. Uh, but uh, let me actually turn take off this sweater. By the way, guys, I have two of the rarest cosmetics in the game. As y'all can see, I have this hockey ring over here. It's not in the shop because it was for 2023 hockey update. And uh, they're not re releasing this one ever. Uh, and I don't think anyone knew about this cosmetic. I bought it just because I knew it would be rare. Also, I have the unreleased sweater over here. So uh, I'm going I'm to tell y'all about, uh, about those in, in a separate video. Uh, but yeah. So next, next, uh, we have the mod menu over here. Bams. Let me take a selfie or something. Boom bums i don't know uh but yeah so let's go let's go with the next uh, one uh what do we have we have potions we have no collision for no collision i highly recommend enabling either fly or platforms then we enable no collision uh and um oh i think i yeah i think with no collision it enables fly automatically uh so you don't actually fall down but with no collision you can pretty much go through any wall or anything like that so, for example, if you're wondering uh, what's on top of uh, uh, city over here, you can notice that there's coming soon sign. There's uh, the new leaked, uh, pretty much kind of update uh, releases here. You can see there's this yellow and blue update, which kind of looks like a Ukrainian flag. If y'all don't know, I'm from Ukraine. Um, uh, yeah, you can pretty much go through anything anywhere you can go to the rocket if you ever wanted to you can place a checkpoint here and actually teleport here later uh by the way if y'all haven't seen there are these heads over here which are kind of creepy not gonna lie they scare me for some reason uh but you can see the their heads over here for I mean, they look like mannequins. I, I, I'm going to be honest. First time I've seen this, I was recording some video. I got so scared that I recorded a separate video about that one. Uh, but yeah, so if you disable no collide, uh, usually, usually, oh, no, nah. oh, no, nah. oh, no, nah. usually it kicks you from the game if you fall down. But uh, because of the small menu, you actually teleport back. Okay, so we also have a zip line, which is pretty nice. If you go to the new map, so the new map over here. It's really nice to use the, the zip lines here because it's so steep. Plus, the no slip is pretty good. Uh, if you go over here, it works by the way with any update. This will work with any update. I mean, sometimes they make changes to uh, the actual uh, pretty much uh, grill tag like mods, but usually they don't make it that much you know what i'm saying if uh, if anything changes i'm gonna make a new tutorial so subscribe if you still haven't like up the video but with zip lines what you do is you pretty much aim at whatever and you create a zip line so you can create whatever zip line you want for example just over here and it works and it's really cool i like the style of the, this mod menu because not only it introduces the features but it actually adds it with like separate textures everything like that it makes everything cool like uh the mod that was like for becoming big and everything it was already in the game previously uh, people already made it, but this is a bark mod menu big shout out to To the developer of it uh, Kyle, I think that's his name uh, And uh, you know he added the, pretty much the stuff like uh, the potions to actually make you bigger smaller and the actual everything works really well So uh, we can use this for anything really. I really like this mod not gonna lie my, my favorite mod by far Okay, next next uh, you can uh, Have a pearl uh, what is this? I think this is an ender pearl. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so you throw an ender pearl like in Minecraft and you, know, you get teleported. This one is really cool. I like this one. So you use the grip, you throw an ender pearl like in Minecraft, you get teleported. Boom. And this map actually really reminds me of Minecraft because of this temple. Like, look at that. If we go up over here, uh, all of these blocks kind of look like they're from Minecraft. Wait, let me see. Boom. 
yeah, like, look at this. All of the blocks look perfect, like, from Minecraft. I've been telling y'all, because there's a similar temple, I'm pretty sure, underwater, and um, just the normal one in here. Uh, if, for example, you have your friends, uh, you can enable boxing, and they can actually punch you with this. So, if your friends have the mod, y'all both are going to see, like, these uh, gloves and stuff, and y'all can punch each other. It's pretty fun. I like this mod. Uh, then we have telekinesis. If you have a friend, you can actually, like, uh, if you know Jedi, uh, if y'all have seen the um, Obi-Wan, I think, um, or actually whatever show, uh, y'all know um, <clears throat> Darth Vader, bro, he takes the the ship, bro, and he slams it down, bro, you can be like that with your friends, you can actually pull them up and stuff with the force, it's pretty cool, I like it. We also have X-Ray, X-Ray doesn't work in this map, I think, because, uh, I mean, this is a new map. Uh, I mean, it wasn't it released uh, with this mod menu, but it actually works. For example, if you actually, nah, I think it works, but uh, someone needs to be pretty much in the lobby for it. So you can see them through walls and stuff. So uh, you can join the barcode if you want. There are fireflies, which are essentially just uh, uh, pretty much uh, kind of like cheat, I guess. Uh, they spawn in and they fly to the nearest player and stuff like that. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and uh, pretty much yeah, pretty much yeah. I think that's it. We have piggyback. You can ride on some you know, some of your friends. Pause with that one. And there's teleport. For teleport, uh, pretty much what you do is you make a triangle with your thumbs and the index finger and look at where you want to teleport. I tried this one and it didn't work before. Yo, this looks cool. This reminds me of anime or something like that. You know, y'all know they make it. Yeah, they they, they do this in the anime, bro. Right? Reminds me of Naruto or something. You you do some jutsu, boom, 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 and teleport, boom. Yeah, that's one. This one is cool. I like this one. But previous time I used it like a year ago, it didn't work because <laughs> I think I was kind of dumb or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So these are the mods, and let's actually get to the tutorial on how to get these mods in the game. Uh, once again, as I said, I'm using Steam VR version. You can technically do this with, um, with actual Oculus version of the game, like if you have it on PC. Uh, but for that one, you're gonna need to, to actually find Gorilla Tag in a different path and Monkey Mod Manager. And I'm gonna tell you guys about this a bit. Plus, you're gonna have to use AirLink instead of uh, the Steam Link app. But AirLink is pretty much a free thing that uh, you can use on your Meta headset. Uh, but yeah, let's get started on the mod hey guys so now that you have seen all of the mods i'm actually going to showcase you guys how you can get them yourself and uh this will work with either quest 2 quest 3 quest pro even something like wa valve index will work it doesn't matter this works with everything so uh what you will need to do is you will need to actually go on YouTube. So on your computer, we're going to be running this off your computer. So Grill Tag is going to be running off your computer. And to explain, there are two versions of actual Grill Tags. So one version is on Steam uh, over here. Uh, and the one version is on the Oculus. So if you go to the Oculus app, uh, you may have Gorilla Tag on here. And for both of these versions, the actual mods work. Uh, and I'm going to showcase you guys what you need to do different for two versions. Because I know some of y'all may have the game either on Steam or on Oculus. Uh, and for Steam, you're going to be using either Steam Link on your Quest 3 to connect, pretty much. It's an app, it's free, you can download. If uh, you have the Oculus version, you're going to be using uh, the uh, Air Link, which is a built-in feature on your Quest. Uh, so let's pretty much get started. So to actually uh, pretty much uh, get all of the files you need uh, for mods, I'm highly recommending go on YouTube and search on my channel uh, real quick. Just click on whatever video you want. Uh, and uh, you can pause the video if you want. Then I recommend going into my Discord. But, but, this is possible to do without my Discord. Obviously, it's just way easier because I compiled everything in my Discord for you guys. Uh, so, you can click on one thing. It's really easy. If you don't have Discord, I understand some people uh, are a bit younger and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, y'all can still follow the tutorial. Y'all just have to type in the links. But I highly recommend just go on Discord. It's really simple, like, process of creating the account. 
uh, we have uh, 269,000 members uh, in my Discord. So everything is legit and everything like that. So yeah, once you're in my Discord, so uh, pretty much what you guys are going to want to do. Uh, let me actually move it up like this. So yeah, y'all see everything. Uh, let me do top right camera so you guys see everything. So once you're in my Discord, we have a bunch of channels here. Uh, what you do on the left is scroll down over here. Uh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you see Grow Tag. By the way, highly recommend checking out the Quest Referrals channel. There are 25% off links for all of the Quest 2 games and Quest 3. Uh, but uh, that's like a separate thing y'all can do if y'all like, um, you know, need some games or something like that. But so for mods, what we're doing is we're clicking on PC mod section over here. So over here we have PC mods. So uh, there are a few things you need to download in order to get mods. The first thing is you scroll up and you see monkey mod manager. Uh, so we click on this link over here. If you don't have Discord, you're going to have to type in the whole link. But uh, then we get the latest version. So we have V1.3.1 over here. And you can see it has the .exe. So that's what we want to click on, this button over here. So that's what we're downloading. After that. After that, we want to download the other mods. So I highly recommend downloading Computer++ Plus Plus because it enables your computer to actually turn on and turn off mods. So what you do is you click on this link over here. We have the latest version over here. We just scroll down and you can see the file format for mods and Gorilla Tag is .dll. So you want to click on this pretty much uh, file over here and it downloads it automatically. It may say on the top right, as you guys can see, uh, it may say unverified download blocked. You have to click on this and you have to say download unverified uh, file. Uh, and don't worry, all of the mods are legit. I download them myself and whatnot. And uh, these are verified creators of mods. Uh, and uh, pretty much, yeah. But it says that because uh, this uh, link hasn't been verified by Google. That's why it pretty much says that. Okay, now we go back. So uh, let's download another mod. I have a ton of mods here. So let's do Yeezy camera mod. So if you are a YouTuber or something like this, this one is very useful because it's a camera mod every YouTuber uses like Cub Cub, J-Man, Curly, everybody. So I have included it here. So Yeezy cam mod V2. We just click on uh, this uh, DLL over here and it downloads it. To the uh, unverified file again, I just uh, make sure to click download on there. Okay, also the best mod, which I showcased in this video, Bark Mod Menu. It's on the bottom here. If you download the mod, just react to a message, you know what I'm saying? So other people know that this legit. Uh, click on this link over here, go down, click on the DLL. Uh, and uh, it says unverified file. We just click download unverified file. And yeah, everything is here. Uh, so now, now, since we have mods, I mean, there are more mods here. You can download Five Nights at Gorillas, which is Five Nights at Freddy's mod. Uh, there's Portal Gun. Uh, pretty much there's Fruit uh, Ninja mod. I have a bunch of here. So highly recommend checking this out. Just scrolling through here. Some of the older mods may not work. Uh, these are some of the maps you can also use. Uh, these are just the mods I use. So I put them here for y'all. So, you know, I cannot put all of the mods in the description. So I just put them in this, um, my Discord. So, yeah. Okay. Now, now you have downloaded all of the mods. You're wondering, okay, Vlad, you know, what do we do next? Next, what you want to do is open up your file explorer on your computer. So, so. Next, go to the downloads folder. So the downloads folder is usually where all of your mods are installed. And over here, you should see all of your mods. If it says like unverified, whatever thing, like uh, just a like broken file or something, you probably didn't actually uh, click um, in the browser. You didn't click like uh, download on that file. And it's probably said unverified. Uh, but since we did all of that, we have all of the mods here. So these are the mods I downloaded. 
first things first, what you're going to want to do is open up Monkey Mod Manager. And you have to pay attention to this. This is really important. Uh, Monkey Mod Manager is pretty much a mod manager. You can install different mods from that uh, mod itself. Uh, and what we're going to want to do for this one is open it up. Just double click on it. It says, we couldn't seem to find your Gorilla Tag installation. Please press OK and point us to it. This is really important because what we are going to want to do before we actually click OK is find our Gorilla Tag installation file. So if you have Gorilla Tag in the Oculus app, this only works if you're in the Oculus app. What you have to do is in my Discord, in this channel, PC VR Mods, on the top right, click on pinned messages. And over here, you have the directory. You just uh, select this and click copy. So you copy this one. Uh, this is for Oculus users. Uh, I mean, you can also find the directory through your Oculus app on your PC, if you but you have to have Grill Tag installed on your PC for this. But if you have Steam VR like me, uh, what we're going to want to do is uh, open up Steam. Over here, you want to go to your library and you want to right click on Gorilla Tag. Next, you have to go to manage and click a browse local files. It's going to point to your actual uh, pretty much um, Gorilla Tag installation. So. Uh, it's going to be in your file manager on the bottom over here. Uh, you're clicking on this. Okay. Over here, we just uh, select this. I'll left click on this and copy this directory. So, uh, I mean, this is confusing, but uh, I have to pretty much tell you guys about this because many like tutorials skip this part. And this is the most important part, literally, of installing the mods. Uh, okay. So now that you have your directory, what you click is OK. It's going to open up this uh, pretty much page over here where you have to find your directory for Gorilla Tag. Pretty much it's like the installation file. Uh, we already have it. So we just uh, paste in the link over here. So paste in uh, what we have here. Uh, you click enter uh, and you're going to select the Gorilla Tag.exe. So we click open and it works. So we just had to find the installation file. Uh, for the actual grill tag. If you have it on your desktop, pretty much uh, like um, you can select that. But uh, okay, this is where it works for me. Okay, now we have plugins. We have all these mods, but some of these mods don't work. Let me explain what mods we have, we're going to have to install because there are certain mods that uh, pretty much are required. So you scroll down all the way. And over here, I highly recommend downloading BEP Inject. Don't download computer interface because it often breaks your computer. We downloaded the computer plus plus, which we're going to use for that. Also download Utila. Utila pretty much allows you to go into modded lobbies. And I highly recommend downloading TMP loader. So all of these BEP inject, X inject, TMP loader, Utila. I mean, uh, there are more kind of growth, cosmetic stuff like this. You can download that. If you want some of the mods uh, don't get updated, but these ones usually do. So I recommend downloading these ones. So these are the basis for other mods to work pretty much. So we click install and update over here. Then it says install complete. That's good. Okay. Now, now important, important, important. So what we want to do is actually go ahead uh, and click on utilities. Next, click on BEP in X folder here. So this is going to be the folder uh, over here that we are going to put our mods in. So we click on double click on plugins. Yeah, so this is the place where you put all of the mods in. I already have some mods in, so I'm going to delete these. Um, but you don't have to. I just already had them installed. I'm just going to showcase to y'all how this works in uh, real action. Okay, now. Now, 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 important. So we want to drag and drop the mods that we installed into this folder. So what I recommend doing is right click on your file manager on the bottom left and uh, click uh, on file explorer. So to open up another window. Okay. Now we just drag and drop the mods that we got from this over to this side. 
Don't drop them in the folder, just drop them in here. And that's it. That's it. You installed the mods. Uh, after this, after this, uh, if you already don't have, uh, for example, uh, if you never opened Gorilla Tag up on uh, an actual PC, I mean, you're going to have to open up Gorilla Tag uh, on your PC for this, obviously, before you install the mod, so it has all the folders needed. But, uh, for example, if you, for example, want to actually play Gorilla Tag on Steam VR, I highly recommend downloading the Steam Link app. Don't spend money on Virtual Desktop because I have Virtual Desktop and for me, at least, the Steam Link app is free and uh, it works better than the virtual desktop. Uh, for Oculus users, like the people who go through the Oculus app and have Grotag on there, you can use the Air Link, which is free too. But, I mean, if you have uh, like $20 to spend, you can spend them on virtual desktop and use that to actually open uh, the game through the app. But I highly recommend uh, looking up tutorials on how to actually play Gorilla Tag with PC VR you know, on this. But we installed the mods, so you shall have them in the game. And uh, pretty much that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something, give a thumbs up, man. Comment down below if this worked for you or if you have any questions. You know what I'm saying? Ask them on Discord, ask them in the comments, feel free, you know, um, we have a helpful community here. Uh, and uh, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to keep you guys updated on how mods change because sometimes mods break, sometimes mods actually like uh, tweak some stuff, or you have to do something different here, there, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, hope you guys liked the video, see y'all later, peace out, bye bye.